tell you guys I've tried to film this so many times within the past four or five months. It's actually insane. It would be shook. So it's literally now or never. Literally. I realized that I really just do a 10 step, quick, simple makeup routine. I'm super, super allergic to tons of makeup. This is like my go-to. If I lost all my makeup, I would repurchase this. So let's get into it. Okay, the most recent thing I've added in my makeup and skincare routine is SPF. Thank God, because I don't know what I was doing not wearing SPF. I use the Say Slip Tint. This is in the shade 4. It's a little bit dark for me right now, but that's okay because I can thin it out really easily. And I take like a pump on my hand. Like this. It kind of looks like peanut butter. I think I'm going to add a little more because recently I've seen that you're actually supposed to use quite a bit of SPF on your face. So I'm going to take... The pump. Perfect. One thing that I've really noticed about myself lately is that I actually am a very picky person. And that doesn't mean I'm not easygoing. I'm very easygoing, but I'm very particular about certain things. Basically, if I had to put it in simple terms, I just know what I like and what I don't like and definitely translate into my makeup and skin routine. I'm very specific. The next thing I like to go in with is Kosas Concealer. This is the only concealer that I use. It's just my favorite. It's creamy. It's full coverage. It's perfect. I kind of just like to spot conceal with this. I'll either blend it out with my finger, a detail brush, or a sponge. It changes by the day. This little spot right here is a little stubborn because not gonna lie, I tried to pop it last night and there wasn't even anything in it. So I kind of created myself an extra little dark spot, but it's okay. Cute. I actually have two options for cream bronzer. One is a little more natural, one is a little more matte and a little more bronzy. Use this just to kind of add a little bit of color to my face, just add a little bit of dimension. Just like that. See, it was just a little bit of color. It looks really natural. It looks like your face is bronzed, not like you put bronzer on. That's kind of like my goal with makeup. I just want to look fresh and awake. And then I'll take this Bondi Bay from Nude Sticks. Take this Patrick Ta little contour brush. This is perfect, especially if you struggle with like, with keeping your contour and your bronzer up. I struggle with that. I like to go really low sometimes. I don't know why. I take a little bit on my brush and kind of go into the finer details of my face. This brush kind of does all the work for you, and I love that. And I'm really, really careful about the jaw. Just barely add like a little shadow. For the nose, I really don't do much. I'll just kind of like take a little bit and just go like this. I go across the lid sometimes, just so that everything is kind of cohesive. I'm with Cream Blush next. This is my newest blush that I have, but I love it. It's the One Size Attention Seeker Blush. I really like angled brushes like this because, once again, they just really help me keep everything where it needs to be. Go in with this little cream and lightly kind of place the blush. I always do a little bit right on the bridge of the nose. I lightly kind of set the face. I use the Kosas Cloud Set like a big fluffy brush for bronzer i use charlotte tilbury and finally hit pan look at that see progress these are also my two favorite bronzer brushes it just depends on what mood i'm in which brush i'm gonna use today i think i'm gonna use sigma and once again i'm super super light-handed I'll go in with 
with a little powder blush on top of the cream. To pick one makeup product that I could not live without, it would be the Kosas Airbrow. I know that might seem a little random, but it just elevates the brows and I could even use it as mascara. So it's all I really feel like I would need if I was going to the beach or if I really didn't have anything else. One of the biggest pet peeves I've always had with brows is I would always want them to be locked in and kind of use like eyebrow gel, but it would always look wet. This does not look like that. This is kind of random, but I know every single one of you has a favorite pimple to pop. My favorite is in my eyebrow because you can't see it and they're always the most satisfying. But let's just be real, they're the best. Okay, okay. It's nude sticks in the shade Bubbly Baby. It's the key to instant glassy skin. And I like to use a brush that looks like this. This is a MAC 159S brush. I honestly kind of go in with this brush to go in like this and go right on the high points of the face and look and I don't set this either I just let it kind of be on its own I'm super picky about highlighter I don't like anything glittery on my cheeks this just looks wet and that's exactly what I like to go for I to use two mascaras, one for volume and one for length. This one is my favorite. This is the Jones Road. I think this is just the mascara. And I have like a little bald spot right here from traumatizing the balls out of my eyelashes and ripping them out with my eyelash curler and then also removing my mascara with zero patience. So I'm gonna have to get a little lash serum <laughs> soon a little length i'm gonna use the milani tubing mascara always focus on the tips now for the last and favorite step of mine lips kind of like to hoard lip products and it's really really hard for me to pick one so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. We'll see what I choose today. These are all the options that I have for today. Kind of a rare occasion, but I think I know what lip I'm gonna go with, and that's the Patrick Ta Plumping Gloss in the shade 2CCs, and I'm gonna tell you why. Every night before I go to sleep, as I sit at my vanity and I go through all of my lip products, I like to just do a little try-on party with myself and all my lip products and one night I put this exact lip plumper on my lips before I went to sleep and I just forgot to take it off and I slept for six eight hours I woke up and when I tell you this did not move at all like I woke up and it I was still like full B on the lips I was so shook Okay, everyone is currently yelling at me to hurry up and get out of the bathroom so I can let everyone else get ready. So here, here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the first of many videos and I'm really, really, really excited. I'm so sorry I kept you guys waiting for months. I feel like such a fraud, honestly, because, <laughs> but here we are. I love you. I'll see you very soon.